Lawyers for Ross Harris won their bid to move his murder trial out of Cobb County. Judge Mary Staley ruled the man accused of intentionally leaving his son to die in a hot car cannot get a fair trial there. The decision came after the judge had qualified a pool of potential jurors. The judge has not yet determined where the trial will be held. And now discussing or joining us to discuss the details of this decision, local attorney Paige Pate, and uh, we appreciate you coming back in to talk about this. You know, we talked about this a few weeks ago. We were talking about, hey, how did, what, what's the process of getting the jurors? And, and it seemed that process was going along reasonably smoothly. You were almost to the number that you needed. So we were surprised yesterday when this decision came down. Were you? I was a little surprised. I thought Judge Staley would say, look, we have enough jurors now to go ahead and pick the, enough to go forward with the trial. Even though we had some difficulty and there were people that had already made up their mind, already had a firm opinion about the case, I thought there were enough to move forward, and, and so did the district attorney's office. Mm -hmm. But in an abundance of caution, if you're the judge in a high-profile case like this, you want to move it now instead of having the case reversed on appeal and mm -hmm. then having to retry it. So it may cost more to do this, but it costs a whole lot less than a retrial. Why did the defense wait until this late in the game to, to ask for the change of venue? It seems to me that you would ask for that right out of the gate because because everyone knows how much attention this case has gotten. Well, that's a good question. I think most defense lawyers would go ahead and file that motion to change venue early in the case, even before you get to jury selection. But the reality is most judges are going to want to wait to make that decision until they've actually heard from people in the community. They want to go through the jury selection process to see if it is such a difficult burden to find an impartial jury and, and by waiting now the public can understand you know if Judge Staley moved this trial before we heard from the community a lot of people would be criticizing her saying wait we can get a fair and impartial jury but now we heard from a lot of people in the community that have such deep ingrained feelings about this case mm -hmm. and it's going to be very difficult for them to set those aside. Uh, you talked about it, it may save money down the road on right. appeals but it's going to cost a lot of money up front to, when you talk about the process of moving this. What, what are some of the costs that are involved? And I'm not asking you to put a dollar figure on it, but sure. why will it cost so much more? I think some are obvious as you move the venue. Well, the number one concern in a trial like this is always security. And you have a defendant who's in custody. And so they're going to have to move that defendant and make sure that he's secure, make sure the courthouse is secure, especially in a high profile case like this. Uh, the lawyers for both sides, they live in the metro Atlanta area. This case is going to be moved from metro Atlanta. We don't know where yet, but those lawyers, their team, experts, witnesses, because because most of this all happened here, or at least in Cobb County, and they're all going to have to go to wherever this trial is going to be. Uh, let's assume the jury is going to be from the county where the trial is going to be held, and that's not a definite. Mm -hmm. But if that's true, then you don't have to sequester them, you don't have those additional costs. But it's mostly the cost of the participants and the witnesses getting back and forth from Cobb County to wherever they're going. So I guess the question now is where? When will we know? How will that be decided? Does Judge Staley have final say? I guess she has final say, but it will be will it be solely up to her? Not solely up to her. Georgia law sets forth a, a pretty specific procedure when you need to move a trial like this. Uh, she'll have some input. The lawyers on both sides will have input. And then if they find another county that's willing to take it, the judge down there will have some input as to how the trial will proceed. And how long does this push things back you know, for at, us? At least a few months. I don't think it's going to take through the end of the year, but a lot will have to do on where the case is going and the trial schedule for that particular county. All right, Paige Pate, we appreciate you coming in and sharing your perspective with us this morning. And of course, you can count on Fox 5 to cover every twist and turn of the Ross Harris trial. Follow the developments on air and online at fox5atlanta.com. It's 8:30.